Okay guys, so I actually, I hope you can forgive me for not wearing any makeup, but I just got back from shopping on like a day off and I thought I would do a haul. I think I have enough stuff for at least like a small haul. It's actually mostly NYX, but I have a few things from the drugstore. So some stuff I've tried before and some stuff I have never tried before. So I'm just going to kind of talk about them as I go if I have tried them. I'm just sitting on the floor and I don't have any makeup on and no tan or anything. So I hope that you don't mind like the very casual like spur of the moment of this this video but um, if you do cool if you don't let me know and I'll never do it again so the first things that I got were actually I guess these are like skincare but I get these at Ulta and these are my like I barely ever get to go to Ulta because like I th said in every single video I live in a little tiny tiny town in the middle of nowhere so we don't have a lot of stuff out here we just got an HEB like two years ago which if you're not from the south it's a grocery store like we just got a grocery store a pretty small one like two years ago so I live in the middle of nowhere so when I go into town and I go to Ulta I always pick up sheet masks and I love sheet masks I get sheet masks from a couple of different places I have a few that I really really like but these are my favorite ones that I get from Ulta I've only ever found these at Ulta if you can get these somewhere else then let me know but I've only ever found this brand this is Tony Moly, I think is how you pronounce this brand. I've only ever seen these at Ulta and I love every single one that I've tried. So I picked up the well, I picked up the illuminating sheet mask, which I've never tried before. I picked up the vitalizing sheet mask, which I've also never tried, but I wanted to try them. And then I picked up the lemon brightening. I think there's another brightening one that has orange packaging. And then I picked up the Avocado Nutrition one, which I've tried both of these and I love them so, 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 so much. I love, I've loved every single sheet mask that I've gotten from this brand. They're amazing. And I saw these Pacifica sheet masks, which I've never seen before. I don't know how new they actually are, but I've never seen these before. I've definitely never seen these at like Target. I think Target is the only other place that, <sighs> hello. Not for you. Hello. He heard me talking and he had to come in here. Because he's jealous. He doesn't like when I talk to anybody but him. <laughs> I picked up five of them. Um, there was six there. The only one that I didn't pick up was the mattifying one because I don't need mattification I have super dry skin so I didn't pick up the mattifying one but there is a mattifying one if that's what you're into side note the hot vegan probiotic face mask from Pacifica is amazing it's wonderful if you haven't tried it please try it I feel like Pacifica is really like slept on when it comes to skincare and stuff I only used to think that they had like drugstore perfume and lotions and stuff but they have pretty good skincare i picked up the energized glow turmeric spice facial mask and it has turmeric watermelon and green tea so i think that's really good turmeric's really good for brightening so i thought that would be really interesting and then i got super green detox kale and charcoal face facial mask for clear skin so blue algae urban defense I got the Disobey Time Rose and Peptide Facial Mask. And anything with like a peptide facial mask, that is just like yummy, good food for your skin. Um, something that you can put directly on the skin to just feed your skin and make it love you back. So I hope that I like this because I feel like I will definitely repurchase this if, if I see a good difference as flowers, peptides, and rose hips. Rose hip and rose hip oil is really good for scarring, which I have a little bit of a problem with as well. I know I only got one of each, but hopefully I see like a good enough difference or I feel good enough about it that I can repurchase it. So I'm really excited. I'm super excited about this one. And then I have the Stress Rehab Coconut and Caffeine Facial Mask Party, then Rehab Now, which I think that is really cute. Uh, this is something I think I would use in the morning. I, I use sheet masks like whenever I feel like it, in the morning, at night, whatever. I think it's like 
if you're washing your face and you're doing your regular skincare and you're just like looking in the mirror and you're like, oh man, I need a little bit extra help. I just flip through. I have like 40 of these at all times. I use sheet masks so much. I'll just flip through the little thing and see, oh yeah, I could use some rehab today. I could use some of this today and I'll just put that on for 10, 20 minutes in the morning or at night or whenever I feel like it. And I really like sheet masks for that reason. So I will keep you updated on Instagram. I'm super active on Instagram. So if you really wanna know how these kind of turn out, I will keep you updated. Then I picked up some Kiss lashes. Now I know everybody goes freaking bonkers over the Ardell lashes, especially like the Ardell Wispies and Demi Wispies. And now that they have the faux mink, everybody just goes crazy over those. But I personally really love the Kiss lashes I don't know what it is about these actually I do know what it is I love the kiss lashes because they're so much easier to put on so much easier to put on just like everybody else I kind of believe the hype not not that they're that the Ardell lashes aren't good but that's the first lash that I started out with like way back in the day in high school back in the day like four years ago um, I started out with the Ardell lashes because they were like all the rage and I struggled so much to put them on I can never get them to fit right I can never get them to stay on I can never trim them right anything they were so hard to work with and the faux mink ones I tried when they came out recently and now I'm like oh yeah I'm like good at putting on lashes I put on fake lashes every freaking day so how hard can this be and I tried out the faux mink ones and it was like impossible for me to put them on the kiss number 11s these are like pretty much exact dupes for the Ardell Wispy, Demi Wispies, whatever those popular ones are. I think they're the Demi Wispies. They're held them next to each other. They look exactly the same. And the Kiss Lashes are a million times easier to put on. A million times easier to put on. For how cheap they are, I get so many wears out of those lashes. It's ridiculous. I can wear one pair of those lashes for a week straight. Every single day I do my makeup. That's like five to six times I'm doing my makeup. And they don't look like shit. They don't fall apart. They look amazing and people love them. And then while I was out, I normally just pick up like four of the number 11 packages and just be on my way. But this time I decided to pick up some other Kiss lashes. I got the Kiss number threes. I picked these up because they looked... A little bit more like thinned out they look kind of like they have the same shape as a wispy lash but they're just not as full so I thought that that could be I don't know a good thing to try and then I picked up the shy kiss lashes which look so amazing they look they don't really look like wispies they look like just really fluffy fluffy soft lashes honestly they look so soft i just want to like pet them and then i just get i honestly also just get the kiss lash glue it's like two three dollars i love this honestly i've tried other ones from the drugstore i haven't really gone for anything super expensive because i don't give a crap about spending that much money on lash glue um because i just i go through it like water you know um i really like this it dries clear it has aloe in it this is never irritating in my skin it's never um even like i've worn lashes for like 12 hours straight and never even had a corner pop up this stuff works just fine then i picked up the wet and wild natural finish setting spray i've already tried this before i have one over on my vanity i just wanted to get this to kind of replenish i really like this i love the spray of this the spray on this bottle is a amazing while i was also perusing the wet and wild i finally picked up the rose champagne blush i already have a couple other um of these wet and wild color icon blushes i love the formula of these i think they're wonderful and i finally just picked up the rose champagne color which as you can see is a really nice like nude blush which is pretty much the 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 thing that I go for with blushes most of the time especially when I'm fair when I'm tan I can go a little bit more pink but when I'm very very fair I go for more of like a nude blush with some sheen to it so that's good for that 
The rest of this is strictly from NYX. So let's get going. I got the tried and true NYX glitter glue. Everybody knows about this if you're like really into makeup. This is a great, it's a, the glitter primer. This is a great glitter glue and I just replenished. I have been doing um, some festival looks lately if you have been watching me for a little bit and I'm gonna do more so I thought instead of sticking everything on with lash glue because I had ran out of glitter glue, I would just pick up a glitter glue. So I did that and then I got some glitter, some glitter. I got the number two glitter, which is this really pretty blue. I don't know if you'll really be able to see it in the packaging, boop, not really. And then I got the number, what is this? The number six glitter, which is another really dark glitter. It's like a blue black with green reflex in it. And I just go for really dark makeup, guys, I'm sorry. Probably shouldn't have gotten some dark glitter. Probably should have gotten brightly colored glitter because, you know, people like to be bright and colorful. But I don't know. It's just, it's not in me all the time to just be bright, rainbow, colorful. I normally wear all black, which is kind of a shocker because I'm wearing this white t-shirt right now. But 90% of the time I'm wearing all black with full coverage, dark glam, whatever. But anyway, then I got this really pretty one. I don't know if you can really see it. It doesn't really do it justice, but it's really, really beautiful, like pink rainbow glitter. So I did get at least one really bright glitter. It's like a pinky purple, like base almost with just rainbow reflex in it. So I'm really excited to use this one as well. I'm so excited. And then I just got, I picked up another, uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. I don't know what happened to my other one because I got my um, Milk and my other I got my milk and my black bean at the same time and for some reason I only have a milk and it's like a barely used I don't know where my other black bean went, but I just picked up another one I just like to use these as liners a lot of the time um, And as like an all-over color on the lid to make colors pop or give them some dimension or anything like that These are great. They come in a lot of different colors. Um, they're great as eyeliners. That's what I mainly use them for and then I got a NYX Wonder Pencil, which I kind of went back and forth with this one because I figured I could just pick up a um, NYX Jumbo. Oh shit, I just threw it. Uh, I kind of went back and forth with this because I figured, oh, I could just pick up a Jumbo Pencil in like a cream color. But I have been hearing people kind of rant and rave about the Wonder Pencil, so I figured I'd pick it up and whatever, I could try it. If I end up, you know, really liking it, I'll repurchase it. But if I don't feel like it does anything special, then I would just pick up a jumbo pencil in like a nude. So then I picked up, these I think are kind of new. If not, then I've just never heard anybody really talk about them. This is the NYX Simply Nude Lip Cream, which this, this kind of thing is like, straight up my alley for like a day-to-day -day kind of thing. I do, you know, the lip liner lipstick gloss thing a lot, but like that's, that's mostly for like work. Some days, you know, like if I'm just doing makeup to like go shopping or if I'm just doing makeup to like hang out with my friends or go out for the night or go out to eat, then especially if I'm going out to eat or drink or do anything like that just with my friends, then this is the kind of thing that I really, really, really go for. I am like super guilty of using that NYX matte lip color. I think I've gone through 17 of those in the color natural because it's just a really nice nude. This one is a nude. It's a nude, but this one is not matte. It's like a lip cream, um, you know, it has a little bit of shine to it, but it's just one of those things you can just throw it in your purse throw it on whenever. And I like this on, I wouldn't say the day to day, but like I like this kind of when it's not so serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, does anybody else feel like that? When I put on like, when I line my lips and I put on a matte lipstick, I just feel like, okay, like I'm just woman, whoa, woman. And then when I just, I still use lip liner and then I throw one of these on and I'm like, okay, ready to go. Like, I'm gonna go eat with my friends. Like, let's go to Chick-fil-A. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, so. And then I picked up a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee, which I feel like, I don't, I feel like everybody used to like rant and rave about this. The reason that I never got it, you know, a few years ago is because I never used to fake tan and this doesn't look good on me when I'm pale at all. The other like really light pink one, I think it's called like 
buttercup buttercream cream pie some, something like that again i'll list it down below or i'll like put it on the screen once i figure out what the fuck i'm talking about but um yeah i think this creme brulee will look really good on me when i'm tan so that's why i finally finally picked this up i picked up the nyx shiny lip gloss gloss brilliant in clear and i didn't like go to nyx thinking that i was going to get a clear lip gloss i you know only ever get nude stuff so which is why i picked up like creme brulee and like those kinds of lip glosses and stuff but i saw this and it just it spoke to me this spoke to me on like the level of i remembered being in middle school and like only being able to wear mascara and lip gloss and i was like i used to wear this shit out of some clear lip gloss i don't know if anybody remembers but Neutrogena, I don't know if Neutrogena still has lip gloss or this same lip gloss. It was kind of in a tube similar to this, except it was like it was like long and skinny and it had a little silver top. And they had this like very like clear, it looked kind of pink in the bottle, but it looked clear once you put it on with little pink like reflex in it. I used to wear the shit out of that lip gloss. I would get my mom to buy me that lip gloss every time she took me to the grocery store i love that lip gloss so i don't know i just i i miss the days when you just throw on a clear gloss with like whatever you know like you know what happened to the days what happened to the days when you just throw on like some powder and mascara and a clear gloss and you fucking went about your life feeling like a bad bitch because that's what i did in middle school i used to put on that clear gloss and be like who are these girls out here who are they if they're not me because look at me what so i picked up some clear gloss i don't <laughs> i picked up a little bit of clear gloss and i think that it'll be amazing so i know for sure they have a four and then they have a nine which is the thing i got i think they at least have one bigger with like 12 or 15 shades so anyway i got the nine and i got nine shadows to fill it and i'm so excited so i'm going to kind of you know unpackage these and talk about i guess why i chose to get them um, the short answer is that I'm doing festival looks, <laughs> obviously, and I'm going to be going to festivals because it's festival season. So I picked up some really bright, fun colors, and you can definitely be expecting me to do videos with these because I'm pumped. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one because if you watched my half skull makeup, you will have watched me shatter this eyeshadow so I picked up another one because it is so beautiful it's in the shade mermaid and I'm gonna make sure that I do not drop these but look how gorgeous that is it is this beautiful light seafoam green it's freaking gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in and not shatter it and this is like oh this makes me feel so good that I'm like making this myself I feel so powerful anyway Okay, so this is from the Nude Matte Shadow line, but it's not a nude, obviously, and this is in the color The Next Morning, and this is another, like, seafoam green color, and oh, I just freaking love it. It's, like, a good mid-tone. Like, it's not too pale pastel. It's actually, like, a true seafoam. So this is the shade Voyeur. It's not so much of an aqua blue like the one before. It's definitely, like, a true, true blue. It's almost, like... A little bit of like a muted navy I really really like that so I picked that up just to have like a another mid-tone blue that's not so green and sea foamy like this so you can see the difference right there this is a hot singles eyeshadow in the shade electric shock and as you can see it's like this electric vibrant blue color but again not too pastel I don't so much go for the pastels I want a really really true blue color I think that you can always kind of make a color more pastel or make it lighter but you can't add depth you can't add that deep rich color so I really really love these look how rich blue like blue 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 that is this is a another hot singles in the shade cosmic this I don't know if you'll be able to tell at all on camera it looks black on camera but this is actually a really dark blue it's like a purpley it almost looks like a very a, like a black based purpley blue almost like it looks so dark prismatic shadow in the shade volatile this is a beautiful shimmery it's almost like a duochrome it's like a purple silver 
shift. It is beautiful, beautiful. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use some purple colors. I literally have no purples in my collection, so I'm so excited to pick this up. A hot singles in the shade flirt it's kind of like a muted um light purple not too pastel but it's not really that deep it almost looks gray on camera but it is it's really purple in person so i'm gonna just slide that right in i got a another hot singles in the shade ultra violet and i'm so excited about this this is a deep true purple oh my gosh it's picking up so blue on camera that's so weird this is so purple in person. I don't know why it's picking up so blue. I'm so sad. Maybe if I pop it in here, it'll look more purple, especially compared to all those blues. So you see that one, you see how much more purple? It's, it's really dark, it's really deep, but that's like a true blue right there. And that is, it's a very deep purpley purple color. Really pretty. I just figured these would be good together, you know, obviously like a transition and then like a deepening color. I'm so excited about this. I think I've said that about every eyeshadow, but I picked up another prismatic shadow in the shade Frostbite, and I am so stoked about this one. It has a blue shift to it. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it does have a very blue shift to it. So I thought it would be really, it would still be, it would be able to complement the purples, but it also complement the other blue eyeshadows that I got, which is why I got it, because that seafoam green is green it's very green and this will complement the more of the the blue and purple rather than keeping this like seafoam green color going so i made my own little cool tone palette and i'm so excited i'm honestly really really proud of it and sad to say out of all of the makeup that i own which is an atrocious amount for one person um these are quite literally the only cool tone shadows that i own so i'm really really excited to finally dive into some cool tone shadows i want to create festival looks i have some crazy weird looks in mind that probably everybody will hate but i'm so so excited to dive into these i will definitely be doing some videos with these so please keep an eye out for those those are coming asap rocky so that is everything that i got in my drugstore slash mostly nyx haul if you like more casual videos like this where i'm just kind of sitting down chatting with you guys showing stuff sharing ideas if you really like this kind of format then definitely let me know in the comments below and also let me know if there's anything else that you want to see so um i will see you in the next video i guess um until then whatever you're doing wherever you are just have a good one bye